How we all diddly doing? How's everybody holding up? I've actually been wanting to do this video, no word of a lie, since 2019. And I actually did already try to record this video on, once before, but it just didn't, it just didn't work out. It was uh, nothing of the sort. It never came to light in the end. This video is also in partnership with Klarna, so thank you to Klarna. But today we're going to be building the most expensive and least expensive house in The Sims 4. And originally this didn't work because one house has got to be the smallest amount of rooms and one house has got to be the largest amount of rooms. But it was quite difficult to, to do that because then obviously the largest amount of wall space would be filling the entire lot. It didn't really work. And then a good way would just be to have the same shell and just have one shell be the cheapest version of that shell and one house be the most expensive version of that shell, if that makes sense. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And I have already... Honestly, guys, I just paused the, the recording while I was editing because I was wanting to move my camera about in this part. So I zoomed my camera in and absolutely look at the state that it's paused my face in. Nothing is as humbling as editing videos, honestly. Taking the initiative, I dare say so myself. And I've already made the shells off camera because that's honestly, that's what usually stresses me in the beginning of videos. So we have the two shells here divided by a very lovely wooden fence. You know what? I should probably have done that half the most expensive, half the least expensive. But it's just a normal kind of shell, really. You know what? I'm going to explain expect that the front is gonna make me cry with how boring it is but that's that for now the only thing that i've placed in here is lights i just kept the light standard because we're not going to include that it's mainly just a visual thing we're going to see if cheaper looks better or if the most expensive looks better and first off just straight out the bat these are the cheapest stairs the sturdy stairs for five simoleons and the most expensive stairs unfortunately with the industrial strength stair system but i think we could change the colors and stuff like that i just hope it all works well together do i think it's going to no also excuse the paint on my hands i've been painting my windows the cheapest windows are these ones i mean that kind of checks out because you can't actually see out of them i think i'm going to give myself the thing of we can use the two cheapest windows and the two most expensive windows i'm not even going to scroll down and see what the two most expensive windows are because i want to keep that to myself that's something that i'm going to have to hold on to and also what's the cheapest wallpaper i'm just going to start with the cheapest wallpaper first of all that's not drywall basic darks okay we could do something with this definitely we could do something with this so that's the bottom part of it and then i think for the top part i mean there that's also the same price if we have like a lighter beige of that guys this is actually working this is actually not even that bad at all and then we just need to do one of these that's the cheapest one high tide exterior trim that's actually i like how that's looking guys dare i say it, i think i've caught a vibe i haven't done roofing or anything yet either because i didn't know what style of house it was going to end up looking like because i literally have not looked at anything so the roofing is going to be just as much of a surprise as to you as it is to me <gasps> Oh, the cheapest door is hardcore cottage door. Hardcore cottage door, rocky down to the floor. Okay, we're getting a little bit of juxtaposition here with the modern windows and that door. Although, to be fair, they're all 40 quid. So I could go with any of them. I'm probably going to go with this. It's just the swatches aren't 100%, you know. Or maybe that, because it's quite wooden and whimsical and those... No, those windows are not whimsical. Sorry, I'm lying. I'm a little liar who lies. But we could, you know, that kind of makes sense because on the bottom bit, you're going to want more privacy, aren't you? I also need to think about what rooms we've actually got so that's a bathroom okay i don't like how that looks i think i'm just gonna use these ones but have curtains over them but then is all that room gets is just one window do you know what i mean is that is that harsh of me am i being a bad sims parent by just putting the one window in no do you know what i decide what's being a bad sims parent and i don't decide that just one window is a bad move i don't know whether dark in the windows though because they obviously have that swatch but these don't have a darker swatch so i don't know if i you know what i'm just not actually going to use them windows because they're not the same price i said i can use two of the cheapest but those are the same price so i can use them but i think the only windows i should be allowed to use are them because they, they are literally the cheapest and there is no cheaper options than that it's kind of a vibe though i'm kind of liking it in a way in a way that's confusing me yes but in a way nevertheless you know what i mean i also had a vision that this bit should be like this big glass door i don't think that that vision is going to come to light because we just have that make it work I hate those windows on the side. They're kind of stressing me out. But then the thing is, if you put those windows on the front, it's like, wow. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just literally all of the same thing. See, that's looking a bit corporate. We'll just put them on the top. The, the ba downstairs bathroom does not need a window, right? Okay. Nobody needs to look in and watch my Sims relieve themselves, right? And if you do, that's something that we need to discuss because that's not the aim that we should have. I am getting stressed, actually. I am. I think I'm just going to put a roof there. We're not going to have a balcony. That's just going to be that. You don't deserve a balcony for how much you've stressed me out. You know what? I actually like that doll that kind of yeah that matches it yes lie i hate that why did i do that okay that looks better i hate to see it i hate to jinx myself but i do feel like we're getting somewhere okay 
You know what? From the outside, she's not like the best, obviously, but she doesn't need to be the best, actually. She's perfect as she is, and I love her. She's she has actually pleasant pleasantly surprised me. You you've charmed me. You've got the job. I, I do really like that. That's four small we have a lot of choice actually, because a lot of things are four simoleons. This one might work for the outside and also for the front. And I also need to raise you up. I will I'll literally raise you up, babe. Wait, did that cost money? No. Oh, nice. And these are all zero simoleons, so I can literally pick whatever I want with that. I love to hear it, babe. I absolutely love to hear it. I really don't want to count you. I really do not, but like you are literally a fence, so I'm gonna have to count you. That is the cheapest fence that we've got. And then for stairs again, sturdy stairs. They're sturdy and they're pretty. So far, it hasn't actually been that bad. And you know what? I think I'm only allowed to put one stair because it's the cheapest. No, let's not be ridiculous, Jessica. We can draw random lines in the sand over things and then you are the cheapest column i'm not actually mad about that because i think that really it could be much worse and i also think that it doesn't look that weird that we've got a literal cross fence as much as i thought that it would look weird it did not because it's not actually that high off the ground so it didn't make much of a difference these are all free as well so i've got my pick here gg and maybe i'll just do that and then this is also going to be our back garden fence hey hey it's great. What is the cheapest tree? A dry pine tree. Love that. Just sits there being all dry. Okay, and we've got up to here for plants. These are all the same amount. So I am going to, you know, give you a little bit. I actually think I'm going to reuse this tree on the front just because it's cheaper. Boom. And I'm also going to use this in the back garden because... It is literally the cheapest because it's free, but it also, it works best for me. Very good. Right. In terms of the outside, really not actually that upset with this house. Instead of going inside and doing every single thing on the inside now, I think I'm going to do the outside with the most expensive one. And then it feels, I don't know, that just feels right. That just feels natural to me, guys. First off, wallpaper, the most expensive wallpaper. No, no, please, no. No, I don't want to do I don't want to do it. I want to get off. Stop the bus. Stop the bus. So this was actually a disaster. And the way that The Sims sorts things actually let me down. You know what wouldn't let me down? The sponsor of today's video, Klarna. This section of the video is sponsored by Klarna's shopping app. This is incredibly helpful when you're looking to buy a new product. For example, I am looking for a new keyboard because I tried to spray paint my last one and she's she's not doing good. Klarna's price comparison tool really just simplifies this entire process. So all you have to do is search it, click a product. It lists all of the available locations you can buy it from and what they price it as so you can make sure you're getting the great deal but also it has reviews of each of the products within the app so you can also be sure in your purchase of the product personally for me i absolutely love comparison tools because i feel like it feeds my brain in the absolute best possible way and includes a price variation through time so you can see if you're getting a great deal at that current moment and if it's not the right time the app also gives you a price drop notification so you can be sure that you are getting a great deal and it's very detailed information too it was telling me if the keyboard i was looking at was ergonomic whether it had mechanical keys i need a full-size keyboard because i'm left-handed so it includes all of that in the app my entire experience before would be having 20 tabs open at a time trying to find out all of this information clana shopping app basically consolidates that into one app thank you clana for sponsoring this section of the video if you have any gaming or tech needs or any product that you're interested in buying i really do recommend the clana shopping app it was such a seamless experience thank you clana i mean it's just very bright isn't it oh my hell's bells guys i actually think the white is the least like oh my it's just it feels like it's jumping off the screen i mean come on now the woman was too stunned to speak you know what it's french it's art it's french we're gonna go with it we're gonna go with it all right and what is the most expensive one of these Okay, okay. It's a complete opposite vibe. I love it. You know what? I trust, I trust that it will come together in the end. I don't know how strongly I trust that, but there is some definite version of trust there. It's something, do you know what I mean? It's given community lot. It's 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 not given trust or anything or excitement. It's just given a lot. Oh <gasps> no, the resistance blast or I mean I've got the pick of the two, so oh honestly, I don't know what I was manifesting grip vibes for this video. I don't know what I manifested, but I manifested wrong. And this is the Napa's peril. Oh my god. In some ways I'm like, is it coming together? Do you know what I mean? In other ways, I'm like, this is the worst possible thing that I could have ever envisaged for this space. It's just it it's looking at me like a face. It looks like a face. And it's because I'm gonna have to face my fears this house honestly all right as for roofing i don't know if i should roof it or if i should just try and do some modern malarkey with it what's the most expensive flooring oh okay right oh this is gonna absolutely ruin me the oranges don't why don't the oranges match because it's yellow all right okay right 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 i'm just a girl playing the sims asking for a break 
Honestly, oh, that's a lot. I, uh, I know that I manifested it to be good, but I'm going to be honest with you and say that I had my suspicions that it would be bad. I never, Your Honor, once in my life considered it could possibly ever be this bad. This is a shock to me. This is a shock to the system. Of course, this is a lot to unpack and I haven't got the... I don't have the facilities for that big man. If you blur your eyes, what cartoon character does the house on the right remind me of? Because I cannot think of it, but I know that there is one. Or like Snoopy or something. I've had some time to think about it where I was applying my lip gloss and I actually think that these stairs now work absolutely perfectly with the build, unfortunately. I didn't want that to have to be the answer, but yeah, they do. I didn't even consider fencing. Right, okay. So this little viewpoint, no longer a viewpoint. I mean, to be fair, they're the same price actually so i might have that okay well you could be there and you can also go there i will let you babe i will let you <laughs> it's just very eclectic shall we say okay and the dr calgary's column is the most expensive column i hate to say it she fits right in honestly i hate that it's working i hate that it's it's actually kind of all coming together a little bit i hate it right right mr jumpy jump coming in at a whopping 370 i don't think that health and safety would necessarily pass this okay so to be fair the most expensive build by outside is done. Right, I'm going to go interior doors now. The cheapest interior door. Hardcore cottage door. We've had our laughs. We've had our struggles. Right, and the most expensive. To be fair, those windows look nice from the inside. <laughs> okay, so the walls have been changed. The two most expensive florins are the parquet florin, which is interesting. Although it is fucking parquet florin, you know what I mean? And also marbled walk. I think marbled walk is probably going to be... Oh, God. It... Oh, I miss the orange, actually, guys. I really miss the orange. You know, she just brought something special and unique to the situation i didn't necessarily want to hear but then once she was here i was kind of fine with her actually like she kind of slurred you never really know what you have until it's gone do you so i guess all the bedrooms are gonna be oh excuse me where is your wall thanking you oh it's just so much oh that's awful right cheapest tile digital world i regret my decisions immediately Although they're all two smallions. The cheapest, honestly, has a lot of choice. I don't feel that robbed for choice with the cheapest ones. Okay, and the cheapest tile's four. So again, I've got like the majority of things to play with. We can make this work. It's a bit of an odd space. Really quite an odd space, actually. I don't know why I made it in this way. I'm really not minding it. You know what? I was thinking breakfast nook for there. I actually don't think that we have the space for that. I don't know what to put there instead, though. Like maybe a shelving system. Okay, the Retroplex TV console. Nice. I've seen on Reddit that this doesn't actually work, and that is so upsetting. Actually, like why would that not... Why would you include that and not have it work? Like that is actually a really beautiful set and the only picture that we have really is the pawing on the walls okay nice time for the dining room obviously this was meant for a big space so i don't think i'm going to do like one of these i think i'm going to do the cheapest version of that which is the totally stable dining table and i really do believe that you're so stable like i really do believe that and it genuinely should i include that because that's actually like a debug option i think i'm going to include that and i have just kind of shot myself in the foot with that because that's not as uh, maybe it is as nice i don't know and i always include a uh, fireplace with my dining rooms i don't know if that's popular or not but that's what i do cheapest side table you know what the amalgamation of it all yes i've been in university my favorite word is amalgamation is beautiful and the cheapest decoration we have is relics of a creative childhood and you know what what a thing i have on your walls you know what a thing that's 10 what if i just sized it up really big there you go oh no the cheapest rug that we've got is a gl grunted splat rug <laughs> Oh, but you know what? Just knit frame it so nicely. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to be positive, I'm trying to think of the positives. That just frames it so nicely. It's just beautiful. It's definitely something. Now for the living room. Okay, it's very beige, but honestly, Molly May would love it. And we have not your average firewood love seat and care. A nice chair. You know what? For 70 quid, it's really not doing too bad. Right, the cheapest standing bootcase is this one so it's a kid's house you know what i mean i hate that this is the only decoration you know what for 20 quid that's not bad i think i actually might put that over here and they could be framed by that it can be dogs of the past or whatever i'm trying to make it i'm trying to make something positive out about out with these cards that we've been dealt can we change the swatch at all i'd rather it be blood you know okie dokie <laughs> Right, the bathrooms are all going to be the same, so I think I'm just going to... If you had the chance to change your fate, would you? Please no. Oh, please no. Why have you got to be a bitch? Why has he got to, why has he got to do this to me? Well, and I guess this one's just a shower. <laughs> I'll give them the option of a bath as well. I'll be kind, you know what I mean? And at least we have the space for a, a sink. 
maybe. We move that over, actually. We can just put the sink there. And what is the cheapest mirror? The sunny days mirror. Lovely. Just really works and everything. Right, I'm going to put these seats up here because I did envisage a little seating area with that tiny little plant. And you know what? I know that this is not true and I'm aware that it's not true, but part of me is actually starting to register these paw prints as little flowers. And now I'm like, oh, doesn't that look so cute? And I know that that's not, that is not the case. That is not correct. There we go. Very safe banister there. Now for the kids' bedrooms. Oh, okay. You know what? I thought I was doing my kids a favor by like, yeah, we'll pick the wallpaper. No, 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 no. Or to be fair, that's two small Ian. Oh my God, these are all two small Ian's. I am doing my kids a favor. My kids love me. My kids love me and I do the best for my kids always. Oh my God, we even have another bathroom up here. But at what cost? Do you know what I mean? The cheapest single bed is this one, which actually honestly kind of fits into our vibe for here. So I'm not 100% mad about it. This one's absolutely fucked the vibe up though. Honestly, I dare not let myself get excited over anything. I've really dared because as, as soon as I get excited over anything, like, oh, this matches. Someone just comes along and just smacks me over the face and it lets me never get my hope up hope up ever again okay i don't know what kind of concoctions being cooked up here you know what that doesn't count actually because we could, that is not actually usable as a desk so we'll go for this one you know what i could actually make this work right because a lot of the things that are being picked up are kind of similar colors so i could just have those as accent colors down there's the dancing babe up here is for thinking and i'm thinking some good things today i'm gonna pick this one because this is the only suitable this is this is the cheapest one available for adults okay, now for this bedroom i'm gonna try and I think we will be more successful at this because lighter swatches and a lot of the cheaper objects already have the lighter swatches. So this can actually really try and work in my favor. Like we could go light blue for that. That is kind of working. You know what? I could even switch up this wallpaper. Now it's coming together. Now I have a plan. Do you know what I really struggle with actually? I feel like Americans have a lot of things like off the walls. Not like vans, like <coughs> off the wall, but like off the wall is in it will be like that in a room or specifically living rooms. Like they don't push settees up against the wall a lot of the time. So I've seen on TikTok, I've been doing my own market research. I feel like English people, things are always against the wall. In England, this living room would be like that, but that doesn't translate well in The Sims. And I'm thinking maybe the Americans have it right, but also space is such a thing in England that things have to be pushed against the wall because you just literally got no other place to put them, you know? <laughs> okay. We literally all can only afford the classic woodmobile. So you best enjoy that, babe. I'm going to go without a rug for this one. You can have a private journal though, because that's the cheapest activity. There you go, darling. Oh, you can have a synthetic food rug. Hmm. Oh, we can afford the most special vase ever. And a mug. Make a house a home, guys. We do need a dresser though. You can have a backpack, backpack. All right, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now for the main bedroom. The cheapest double bed. I think I already know what it is. It's the apartment life one. Yes. And it's not apartment life anymore. They go with a different name. They go by many names. Again, I'm just going to have to try and make this work in some way, shape or form. There you go. You can also have... <laughs> a suitcase and you know what you can even have a chair babe don't say i don't treat you it might be better though if the chair's on that area and you are there not much better don't get me wrong not much better what about curtains not actually bad we could have definitely done worse in the curtain department for them to be the curtains that match the best it, we were we were definitely lucky <gasps> i can even pull the the tones in the green in the hexagons there brings out the green of the rug we can have an in-ground patch and even a couple of seats like we're not actually doing that bad out here at all and a grill and a bike and we can have an outdoor wall light it all comes working out in the end guys i'll even do you the honor of putting you one on the front and all this house is done let's move on to <laughs> oh god you know what i had some piece i had some piece and it's back with a vengeance right it was the most expensive kitchen tall order vintage counter you can have the schmapple fridge i'll let you should we have a schmapple oven we do have a schmapple oven schmapples all around guys once you schmapple you just can't schmapple and the most expensive chair oh ho, 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 ho. 1,000 for a chair and it's not even nice. It's given Catherine de Berg. Oh, we have the Crystal Garden Hearth as a fireplace though. You know what? For a house as like unique, shall I say, as this one, it definitely fits. And say what you like about this house, but at least it doesn't have slime for a rug, you know? The settees are whack. Oh, Fleur's sofa. What makes it Fleur's? Oh my God. Queen Louise and Annette at a single pet. Is this a there was an old woman from Elin type poem? The Queen's gossip chair. It's not the Queen's now. I would still prefer this hat. Mm, I don't know. It's the rug. It's the rug at the end of the day, isn't it? Oh, this is actually the most expensive thing. It's a shower bath combo. So it's horrific. The most expensive outdoor activity. It's a large rustic ice rink. 
feasibly. I think I'm going to have to put a steampunk fly in my jig there and a birthday hot tub. And that's the most expensive tile for a tide, so... There is no need for that to be that much money. I can hand on heart say I don't think I've even ever used this in game. I'm going to give this one a exercise machine because it's more expensive than a fucking rock climber wall, first of all. And this one's going to have toys or something. So one or the other one have some. The most expensive. I think we're going to have to go for the queen's dining chair again. Honestly, the queen fucking gets about. The queen does many things and sitting on that chair is one of them, apparently. Who is the queen of the Sims? Apart from... Little Simsy, obviously. The Queen's King. Honestly, Clu Queen Louise and Annette is probably the queen of the Sims franchise and I should probably do an entire history of her. Oh! Although whether she deserves that status is fucking still undisclosed. It's a lot, isn't it? It's just a lot. All right, and I think a chair in the corner, the Queen's gossip chair, obviously. The Queen gets up to a lot. All right, there. So that is, that is it. So all in all... This was the least expensive house versus the most expensive house. And I did try and keep everything equal. And that's what the front of them looks like. This is what the back of them looks like. I actually, I much, I hugely prefer this, but I don't think anybody is shocked at that. Let's have a little tour, shall we? I just like the vibes of this one more. I also feel like, well, I don't feel like I know that the cheaper options, there's a lot more cheaper options in The Sims 4 than there is like hugely expensive options. It, honestly, I think the big bush was one of the main points of contention for me. She stressed me out and also the doggy wallpaper. Oh, and the rug, actually. I don't know what was the worst. There's many things that were the worst, right? But it was all together less horrifying than the other house. The other house is, is, is offensive in a different way. The dining room, I didn't mind the wallpaper at all, actually. And I like having the little touches up like that. I don't mind the space. I think the main thing that gets me even like here, I don't mind the space. It's just the rug. The kitchen is also really, really cute. It's nice. Even the bedrooms. They're really cute. Look at them, little cutie patooties. They're really nice bedrooms. Double bedroom's a bit bare, but it's got everything you need. It's a little bit hectic, but the colour swatches all kind of match together. And obviously I could have just not put rugs, but I wanted to... It, I, I like to go all out with challenges, okay? It's fun for me. It's really fun for me. The most expensive house in The Sims 4. <laughs> There's just so much to unpack. Really, guys? Are these a warning sign or are you telling me that a barber lives here? We'll never know. The Batu door. None of the pieces... Uh, I don't like any of the pieces, actually. I mean, apart from the bathroom, the bathroom is the only thing that I'm like, yeah, this one's a bit better. But I think just because mainly it's got like a full toilet, you know, <laughs> which the other one didn't have. The kitchen's cute. I like the shape of the kitchen better. I probably could have done the same type of thing with the other kitchen. A trash little system. I would never trust them after watching The Haunting of Hill House or Bly Manor, whichever one it was. No, nope, I don't trust any shoot system. I, what's down there? Why do you need them? Just take the bins out. Nope, don't trust them. Never did, actually. It's where I draw the line at anything with shoot in the name. I didn't put a fence here, but just pretend that I did, my darlings. Bathroom's the same. Princess Cordelia's bedroom. Uh, that's my headcanon, that this is actually Princess Cordelia's house. Another bedroom, which is... It's just so much, isn't it? The Queen's room. Sensory overload. And the back garden, which, uh, you know what? Anything that's got a feature the hot tub is an immediate red flag to me. So that, that that is it. That is everything. I'll put this on the gallery as least versus most expensive in case you just want to go download it for whatever reason. I can't imagine why, but in case you want to, it is there for you, available. But that is everything that I have today. Thank you all for joining me on this video. Thank you so much to Clana for partnering with me on this video as well. It might be that you can download Clana's shop now. Truly seamless experience. I love you all so, so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.